So today we are going to talk about part 2 of the Legends Festival 2023 and whether it is the worst part of a Legends Festival we have ever gotten until now in Dragon Ball Legends or not. And let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So you know me, when they do right, I tell them that they did right, when they do wrong, I tell them that they did wrong. I am not someone who would lie about anything, I like to give them my direct feedback about everything they do and as you can see for part one i told them you guys have been doing very well during this celebration until now and people can see that so I told them that part 1 was absolutely phenomenal because it was the amount of characters that we got was absolutely insane uh, the amount of chrono crystals they gave out was very very good and uh, the celebration overall was actually pretty phenomenal was it perfect no but is there anything perfect in this universe no so it was very good and that is all that is important however there is something that is e that is even more perfect do you know what it is you smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already now let's talk about part two shall we so in terms of chrono crystals part two actually gave us only 3000 chrono crystals do you imagine that we are in a celebration as massive as the legends festival and part two quite literally gave us only 3000 chrono crystals only 3000 the amount of chrono crystals that we have between part 1 and part 2 is basically only 16000 chrono crystals we got 13000 in part 1 only 3000 in part 2 that's how insane it is can you imagine that and then let's go to the banner the banner is one of the absolutely worst and most horrible banners we have ever gotten in the entire game not only in the legends festival but in the entire game the the the, the format of the banner is the worst format we have ever gotten until now there has never been a, a, a worse format than this like instead of giving us the ticket which was 10 times higher chance to get bardock and goku they gave us a single with three times higher chance seriously seriously and people are thinking that that single is the ticket they reduced it by seven times and people are happy about it <laughs> like i don't know what to say and they removed also the free multi and they removed the paid multi as well and now the only multi that you have on the banner is actually the third one and that's it you don't have any other multi the first one is five characters the second one is seven characters the third one is a multi the fourth one is a single with only three times the chance and then the the shop is completely useless there is literally nothing you can do in the shop except if you pay enough to get actually the character for for guaranteed and that is going to be only 600 not 1200 like what you would get from summoning them it would be just 600 so two stars yeah you do the math <laughs> so you can see that this is the worst the absolute worst banner we have ever gotten now we didn't even get actually a sparking character on it which is even worse because this is the very first time we get actually a banner in Dragon Ball Legends on the Legends Festival without a sparking character on it this is the very first time if we don't count the ultra characters of course because this is a Legends limited banner it's not an ultra banner so this is the very first time we get actually a new banner with a Legends limited character without a sparking character so this is another downside for this banner is there any upsides for this banner no literally none because they removed actually the free-to-play multi and they made it a free-to-play single and before you say that they made it with time three uh, the rate at that point you would get actually the ticket which was times 10 the rates so yeah I think you can do the math right <laughs> So there is literally nothing good about this banner and even worse they could have at least made it more attractive by giving us some great characters 
And guess what? What they gave us was actually... What they gave us was actually this Goku who is okay. He isn't like the best character ever. And he isn't actually even worth summoning for at this point. But he is okay. We have the Bardock of course because he is going to get a Zinkai Awakening. So this is a good pick. Uh, however we... <laughs> We have this Frieza, and then we have this Goku, and then we have this Parking Go Gohan. Like th this is this is this is the worst choice ever. Instead of this Goku, it should have been Goku and Frieza, and instead of this Frieza, it should have been a different character that is good right now in the meta. I really don't know why did they pick these two characters specifically, but whatever I guess. Anyways, you can see that. In terms of both, the amount of characters that we got, which was just literally one character, literally one character, reused uh, extremes aren't actually new characters, reused sparkings on the other hand are new characters, because usually they are usable in PvP, the extremes are never usable, they are just quite literally never usable. Anyways, we got only one new character and two extremes, and then above that, they made the banner the worst banner you could ever imagine. And that is just so, so bad. And then when it comes to the celebration itself, it had literally no, no content at all. All it had was just basically reused some, some, not even many, some events. And a, a Zinkai Awakening for Bardock, which we didn't have until now. We are going to get next week. And... In total, all of the all of the Chrono Crystals we are going to get are summed up to 3000 for part 2, which is just insane. Like, absolutely insane. This is just so dumb. <laughs> Usually we get in, in every single part of the celebration at least 10,000 Chrono Crystals. This time we got only 3,000. Only 3,000. I think that this celebration might be actually the worst celebration we have ever gotten in Dragon Ball Legends competing with the 4th anniversary. <laughs> like this might be actually on that level. I don't know, we will see. I am making this video before actually part 3, so we will see how part 3 is, but part 2 of this celebration has been the worst ever without any competition. Like, there is no competition on this. It takes the worst reward ever uh, without any problems. <laughs> it's just the worst, easily. Anyways. As I said before, let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.